Hey everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Sophie Hannah here. I hope you guys are super well and staying safe. Yes, it's that time again. I have dye on my head. We are going peach punch. Peachy punch, guys. Um, I'm going to repeat myself here, but I have not done a full block head of colour for so long. And I haven't actually done a full head of colour of Peach Punch before. I've never actually done a full head of colour from any of my Sophie Hannah hair hair dyes before. Because I've had to test multiple ones out at the same time. So I've always done like split hair, uh, money piece uh, with the back a different colour. Or yeah, ombre. So it's actually really nice that I've just done a one colour. Um, so really excited to see what it looks like when I wash it out and style it. Um, I'm going to leave it on for about another hour, so I'm going to have some lunch. But yeah, I filmed the whole process, guys. So I actually mentioned in there about not dyeing my hair a block colour for ages, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I'm I said I'm going to repeat myself. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't watched it, it's already up. Do go check it out. Um, yeah, leave some love. Give it a little thumbs up. And yeah, I'm just excited to see what it comes out like. But yeah, filmed the whole process so you guys can see. Um... But yes, looking good. Guys, what do we think of my new hair? I am obsessed. It's gone like such a cute peachy kind of coppery colour. So lush. It was because it was quite ashy underneath. It wasn't like quite a bright white blonde. But I really like it. It looks so cute, especially with my like French bob curtain bang hairstyle going on. I love it. So nice. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget, if you've missed the video tutorial, it's already up now on YouTube and also TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. I mean, share it everywhere. Why not? Oh, I am tired today. It's so dark in the mornings at the moment. It's so hard to get up. Um, I mean, I feel like I say I'm tired every day. I actually had a look on my NHS app and I've got my blood results through. And my thyroid level is completely, like, gone down and normal now. Which is really weird. Um, but someone did mention to me about those JS Health um, hair and energy vitamins and how they can affect your thyroid. And obviously I've been taking them for a while. But then I actually I recently stopped um, taking them every day. Like, I kept forgetting. And then basically when I had my hair done before my photo shoot for Sophie Hannah Hair, I didn't want my hair to grow too quick because I wasn't so I had my hair done like a week and a half before the shoot so I didn't want my roots to grow through really quickly so I stopped taking them and then I've just like kind of just been really bad taking my vitamins and stuff until recently <clears throat> sorry I feel like really crazy this morning um so I don't know if that's affected it those vitamins I don't know but anyway it's normal now which is great obviously it doesn't explain why I'm tired however I am taking vitamins, so I'm taking vitamins which are meant to be good for vertigo, so calcium and vitamin D3, and then I'm taking magnesium, um, and then I've been taking iron tablets as well, which I need to get some more of actually. Um, so yeah, I haven't actually been napping in the days, the last few days, so hopefully that will just help. Um, and blood tests came back completely normal as well, I had a full blood count and everything. Um, so yeah, so just being referred to a dermatologist now for my skin kind of stuff, like, it's not even a rash, they're like, um, freckles, but they're red. So yeah, I'm getting referred to a dermatologist for that, but obviously my bloods are all clear, so I suppose that's one good thing to tick off the list. Um, but yeah, filming some hair tutorials today, I always do this whenever I get my, um, hair freshly done and I've dyed my hair, um, and it's, the colour's all looking nice, I always film tutorials like within a day or two after dye my hair just because then my hair's looking great and fresh and bright um for all of my videos so i'll sit today and just do as many as hair tutorials as i can probably only going to do about four that tends to be like the most that i can ever do and put my hair through um but yeah i'm gonna try some heatless hairstyles today so yeah they'll be up soon on my instagram and tiktok just finished filming, managed to do four hair tutorials, um, but I've just had this delivered. <laughs> so one of my friends actually mentioned that when she went snorkeling, she wore this face scuba, like snorkeling mask. 
um, and said it was actually so much better than the goggles and like the mouthpiece because you can breathe through your nose. So I got it from Amazon for like 30 quid. By the way, guys, I actually hate the sea. I have a huge fear. I don't actually know if I'm going to end up snorkeling, but I thought I'd buy one anyway. I mean, I haven't even told you the context. We're going to the Maldives on Sunday. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, we get a negative PCR on Saturday. Um, but yes, yeah, so our delayed Maldives trip from two years ago, I think, before lockdown, mental. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I've got one of these for me and Robin. Robin, how'd you put it on? Well, just stick your face in it. It looks really hard. We need makeup all over it. Oh my god, what the hell? It's actually really good. Wow. Okay, so I can breathe normally. And then this, when you swim like that, looking around, will poke out the top of the water. Oh my god. You can breathe, but it does feel quite like whoo intense in there. Just got a load of makeup over it, but it fits me. They do different sizes, you just have to measure from like the bridge of your nose to your chin. So I just got, um, got my hair's mess, uh, an extra, no, a small to medium, I think. It's definitely taken half my face off. Um, but yeah, we shall see. I don't know whether you could hear me in there, but um, yeah, you could definitely breathe through your nose. This pokes out of the sea. So when you're swimming, you're like kind of like that. So it poke out the sea. And I believe it's got a special thing. So the water won't go in there. So this will be completely water free and you can breathe through your nose and your mouth. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> we shall see if I will actually snorkel guys because I am such a wuss. Robin is definitely gonna snorkel, um, but yeah, I might try and be brave. I did actually buy Lilo from Amazon because when we were in Egypt um, years ago, I went in on a Lilo and they just put my head off of the end and snorkeled. And everyone was like laughing at me, but I was like, well, <laughs> I'm literally scared that a fish is going to bite me or come near me. So I had like protection being on top of the lilac and just put my face in. Like, it was a brilliant idea. Guys, I just videoed a TikTok trend where it was like, this is a sign to match your brows to your lips to your lashes, which I've done to also match my hair. And I just don't think it looks cute. Oh my God, it like really suits everyone else that's done it. And I just feel, I don't know. I don't know, but it just looks weird. I look weird. I don't know if it's the brows. I don't know if it's because it's like a really light color. I'm just not sure and I feel like maybe that wasn't my sign to do that. What do we think? Let me know in the comments below. I really thought this was, was this, I can't talk, I really thought this was going to look cute because you guys know I love matching my makeup all the time. Like this is like what I used to do but I don't think it suits me anymore. Maybe if I'd just done like the lips or something but yeah I think the brows or the lashes, I don't know whether it's just the shade I think it's all just a bit, I'm not sure. Do we think it looks cute? I don't mean, I don't think it's very wearable, but does it look nice? Guys, how bad is this? Me and Robin were just cleaning the bedroom and um, I found an anniversary card and I was like, <gasps> what day is it? And we just realized that we missed our um, anniversary. It was yesterday. <laughs> I feel like we're just so like busy. We've never done that before. So I think it's 13 years this year. Um, how long we've been together. Obviously, like, that's just, like, normal anniversary. Our wedding anniversary will be four years this June. Um, but we always celebrate our anniversary, and we just both completely didn't realise. I mean, we'll celebrate it in the Maldives, I guess. But, yeah, normally, like, we buy a card, maybe a little present. We might go out for dinner or, like, out and about or something. And we forgot. <laughs> so maybe that's a sign that that anniversary is just going to be forgotten now. And we're going with the wedding one. I don't know. <laughs> I feel really bad. But he forgot as well, I guess. Come here. Please don't. Put my shoes on. No, come back. Right. Ah, Lula, Daddy put you in the washing basket.
basket. Do you like it in there? You look really cosy. She's, She's fine. Li- literally yeah. loving life. Yeah. Are you cosy in there? Oh, look at that little face. Yeah. Are you all smushed? She's great. She's smushed. She's ready to go. That's ridiculous. We'll see you later. Put her down, see if she can jump us out. Do you like it? Is that nice? She loves it. Oh, baby. <laughs> Guys, we're going to pack for the Maldives and we're going to do it together. I've not really done a pack with me thing before, but I thought I'd incorporate it into my vlog, seeing as my vlog has not been very long this week. I always do this every time I pack. I write a list. Also, excuse the fact that I've lost the nail. I need to actually redo them, so I'm nailless, so just ignore that. Um, but yeah, I always write a list of everything that I need and then I tick it off because otherwise I will just forget something. So I prepped my list yesterday. Um, I've got everything to pack, but I'm actually going to leave my outfits to pack until tomorrow um, just because I ordered one or two more um, dresses just because my outfits that I've got to take, the fabric's really like heavy. And I don't want my suitcase to be overweight because obviously when we're going on a seaplane, there's a limit that you can take. Um, I think you can have a little bit of excess, but obviously you have to pay for it. So ideally, if I can try and keep it, well, let's be honest, I'm not going to have a 20 kilogram suitcase. I already know that, but I'm trying to maybe get maybe like a 25 kilogram. We'll be fine. So let's pack. So I'm going to start with bikinis. Oh! I'm going to have to pull all of this out, I think. I'm going to pick a couple of bikinis to take with me. I've got a lot to pick from. Gone through my bikinis and organised my day wear. So let's pack that. I've also got a little helper. Bless him. I'm going to miss him so much when I go. Um, okay, bikini-wise, triangle bikini in neon pink because, yes, why not? Um, I wore that in Ibiza and yeah, it's actually really handy as well with like sunbathing and stuff because you can just take the straps down and the top bit stays up um, and yeah, it's just a really nice fit actually, I really like it. So that's going in. I've also got another one from Triangle which is this print here. It's really, really beautiful, like a retro kind of orange and pastel pink floral print, match my hair. So that's going to go in. Same cut for the bottoms. Um, they're like high leg, they're not completely high waist, um, but just a really nice fit. And again, same top, little kind of bra top, again with the straps that you can tuck in when you're sunbathing. So that's going in. Um, oh, this one, love this one. Just a black bikini, you can't go wrong, can you? This one is from ASOS Design. Um, I got this last year for my sister's hem party because we all had to wear black and she wore white. But it's like a really nice like stretchy material. High waist, high leg, such a nice flattering cut. So that's going in. And the top for that is literally this bandeau um, with little straps. Again, you can tuck the straps in or you can have them up. Um, really like that though. So that is going in. It's also like three bikinis. I think I've got five. Where's the other one? I've got this one here, which I think's from Jade Clark. It's a handmade um, bikini. Love this. I've actually had this for years. Um, I wore it in Vegas, I think. But I thought, I haven't worn it for a while, so I'm going to take that. And also, I just love the print with the pink, the red, and the neon green. Um, I've tried to kind of theme my bikinis so they go with my, like, beachy day wear. Because I've got a lot of greens and oranges so yeah I feel like it kind of all works high waist high leg bikini bottoms again really nice cut and then the final bikini this bikini oh I love this one this is my really beautiful sustainable brand um it's called faithful the brand so we've got this like tie-dye neon white and green print love that and then the top on this again you can take the straps down but it's like a bandeau but it's kind of got a really nice like um neckline on it really really cute actually and really thick straps so i really really love that it's really nice quality um so that one's gonna come with me and then what have we got this one as well handmade oh my god what is the brand do you know what it's gonna be really bad i can't oh it's got a label. Some of them don't with the handmade. This is from Subtropic. It's on Depop. Found them on Depop when I was just like having a bit of a look um, last year. 
and I completely forgot to take this with me to Ibiza so I'm gonna take it with me to the Maldives I mean let's be honest I don't even know if I'm going yet I need a negative PCR test I mean I don't feel ill so fingers crossed but yeah obviously this could be a waste of time but I'm kind of praying that it's not um, so we've got the high leg high waist bikini bottoms then we've got this skirt which goes over it so it's like a proper kind of bikini cord that you can put the skirt on and like wear it in the day it's really nice that's the skirt and then we've got just a bralette triangle top super simple love this print as well again like pinks orange purple like very retro like 70s vibes and then i love the fact that it comes with a matching bandana obsessed with that so yeah and i need to protect my hair in the sun so bandanas and hats are all good i'll pack my hats next and show you because oh they're so gorgeous but yeah bikinis are done okay let's do the hats because oh i'm just obsessed so i've got this hat from presence it is oh my god what's her name the girl from love island it's her brand and i saw emily shack wear this hat when she went to dubai and oh my god it is so freaking cute so i had to buy it and i just love the colors this color combo so beautiful. so we've got that hat and then i saw niani share jack jack i can't i can never pronounce it jackamus jackamus um guys this hat's actually quite cheap for this brand how freaking cute is this hat and it was 80 pounds which i actually thought was really good and it's like denim it's really really nice quality obsessed with it it fits me so well so i do actually um different sizes so i've got the smallest one because i've got such a small head um but yeah it comes with a little hat bag as well so i'm gonna pack my hat and actually gonna use the tissue paper so they don't go funny um in my suitcase so let's get those packed also guys when i am in the maldives i'm gonna get robin to film me and do like a bit of a maldives outfit diary so you can proper see like all my outfits fully on just in case any of you guys are going away and you want some holiday inspo um right day wear i've got this um from misguided that i ended up not taking to ibiza last summer so i'm gonna take that it's just like an orange toweling shirt and then we've got the shorts to match as well. These sorts of like toweling cords are great for when you're away because you can just mix and match them with so many different things, uh, like bikinis. And because obviously all of mine are like pinks and oranges, it's just gonna go. So yeah, I don't wanna take too much day wear because of the luggage allowance. So I'm gonna try, I'm trying to keep this limited. And to be fair, I haven't really got that many cover-ups, but I'm just going to mix and match them all when I'm there. So in goes the shirt. I'll try and fold this nicely. Then I've got just a shirt cover-up. This is in lime green. It's from Misguided. I've had it since last year, I think. Um, so yeah, let's put that in. These are always good to take. Um, I'm taking lime green because, again, it's just going to go with everything that I'm wearing, like in the days. And yeah, the shirts are just great cover-ups for the beach so that's going in and also i don't even really need that many cover-ups because me and robin have got like a private pool we're staying in like one of those beach villas like beach hut over the sea villa things and oh my god literally it looks incredible if we do not get a negative test tomorrow i'm literally gonna cry this is the closest we've got to ever going on this holiday because it's been cancelled like twice already um, anyway, I've got uh, this um, green cord. Uh, it's the Miss Joslyn, Miss Pap range. Oh, she's just such a vibe. I love her style. So we've got trousers, and we've also got this um, top as well. It's kind of nice, actually. I was thinking, like, do I wear this in the evening? But I can kind of mix and match. I've got another outfit that I'm going to wear in the evening, but I can also wear it in the day as well, just to mix and match all my outfits, because I don't want to bring that much. Um... I mean, I'd love to bring loads, but yeah, let's be honest, there's no point. Um, so yeah, so in goes this top. It probably needs ironing, but it's probably going to get creased anyway. If it's that kind of material. I think it's kind of meant to look like that. So let's put that in. I'm trying to like really pack well as I do this, but I don't actually know if this is working very well, but well, we'll see. I mean, I hope you can kind of see a theme going on right now with the pinks, oranges and greens got another pair of green trousers 
Um, I really wanted the shirt to this, but they didn't have it in my size. Um, but they're these trousers in like the sage green, such a beautiful colour. Um, these are from Miss Pap as well. And they're going to go in. They, these are going to be actually great for during the day. I can mix and match them again with lots of different bikinis. Um, but they feel quite luxe, so I could wear them in the evening with a top, maybe, if I've got a top that I can bring. But anyway, they're in. Um, cool. Let me show you one of my evening outfits that I'm going to take. I'm still not, like, 100% set on my evening outfits, so we'll do that tomorrow. But this one I think I am pretty much set on because it makes quite a cute day outfit as well. So it's this little crochet skirt. So I actually bought this for my sister's white-themed boat party last year for her wedding however sadly it didn't happen because it's a long story but basically the boat party bit didn't happen because her wedding got delayed a day um when we were in ibiza so this is just from i saw at first i never normally like to buy from these brands but i needed something so last minute for her boat party but then it didn't happen anyway but i kept it because i want to rewear it so skirt and then this little top which is really cute actually and you can definitely wear it in the day or wear it at night with some little mules. So I'm going to bring that because, again, I can mix and match this. Um, and I think it's quite a cute outfit, actually. And I may as well make the most out of it since I bought it. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it for my bikinis and day stuff. And then one night thing. And then I just need night outfits. I have got a few, but I just want to wait for the rest of my pieces to arrive tomorrow. Uh, just feel like... I, well, I gift a lot of my stuff to e-bloggers, so I feel like I've like got rid of a lot of my summer stuff. I've kept a few bits that I hadn't worn yet, but a lot of my stuff I've gifted to e-bloggers to sell. So if you guys want to shop my wardrobe secondhand, then you can go to e-bloggers. I'll pop a link below. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, let's move on. Okay, guys, shoes. You're going to laugh at me, but I have this weird thing about going in the sea and then like put my feet on the floor like I'm just weird about it I mean I have a phobia of the sea anyway <laughs> I mean you're probably gonna be like why the hell are you going to the Maldives but I am gonna try my hardest when I'm out there and snorkel and I will try and go in the sea I promise Robin I will try so I bought some like scuba shoes from <laughs> Amazon um do you know what these are gonna be such a great idea so yeah got these from Amazon so they're coming with me then I'm literally a lot of people have said online that they've basically worn no shoes in the moldies they're like barefoot the whole time so i'm taking two pairs of shoes is that a bad idea i don't know it might be but i kind of like the idea of just being barefoot the whole time to be honest so i'm just taking my chanel sliders which i literally lived in in ibiza they're so comfy and then i'm taking these little white mules from asos just a little hill not nothing too high you don't need high heels out there or anything like i mean i, I feel like we're just gonna be walking on sand the whole time so that's all i'm taking pair of black pair of white and then i'll have my trainers which i'll travel in and that's it is that enough do i take a pair just another pair just in case Something else that I need to add in is gym wear because there is a gym there and I have not worked out for so long. I would really love to try and get back into it whilst I'm out there. Um, so I feel like it's like a good opportunity. I've been out of it for months now because of my vertigo. So it'd be nice to just, yeah, and also just because I've been so busy, but mainly because of the vertigo, that's kind of like why I got out of it. And I just feel like I haven't felt confident enough to pick it up. But I feel like being out on holiday will give me the time to just slowly start up again, see how I feel. And then hopefully by the time I'm back, I'll be able to kind of work it back into my routine. So I'm just gonna take my bow and tee top. And then I've also got shorts as well to go with it. And then all I need to do is just wear some trainers on the airplane, which I'll just work out in. And these shorts, so that is going in. I say this, will we work out at the gym when we're out there? Who knows? But me and Robin have actually said that we're going to do one lap of the island every day because how bad is this? You can literally, yeah, you can walk around the island because the resort, all the resorts in the Maldives are on their own little islands and you'd be able to walk around the whole thing. So we said every day we'll walk around the whole thing. It's like a little thing. Um, good exercise as well. And it just, oh, <coughs> I like sucked in <coughs> spit then. Um, it just looks incredible. And 
<coughs> sorry. Ugh. It just looks incredible and like nowhere where we've ever been before. I don't know if we're going to like it, but it's one of those places that's like a bucket list and I feel like you need to go once in your life. So yeah, I mean, I feel very privileged and uh, grateful that we are able to go because I know it's expensive. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Although not looking forward to the journey because I don't know how my vertigo is going to be. That's something I'm very worried about, obviously. I mean, I flew to Ibiza last year with Vertigo, but my Vertigo wasn't as bad back then. Um, whereas now I feel like I have it every day. So it will be interesting. But I feel like I'm, you know, I've got all my medication and everything with me. So, yeah, I feel like I don't want it to stop me from doing these sorts of things. So we'll see. You never know. It might push me to the ex extreme that it cures my Vertigo. <laughs> that would be amazing. I was just having a look at what um, beach bag to bring and then I came across this which I completely forgot I had. Maybelline, I think, gifted me it with loads of their products in. How freaking cute is this? It's a Lulu Guinness like carry on like hold all. Oh, honestly, I was panicking thinking I just want a big like carry on bag for the aeroplane that can fit some bits in in case I come overweight or something. This is literally perfect. You should see the inside. It is incredible. So grateful that like when brands send me stuff like this because it's actually useful stuff that I'm gonna use. So it's got like loads of compartments. It's got like a pulley out bit for the top here. Then we've got a little zip compartment at the bottom. Like it's actually so handy. Like I could put a lot of my cables in there and stuff. Oh. I'm so glad I found that. I was panicking thinking, oh my god, I don't have a backpack or anything that's big enough. Winning. Oh, that is so cute. Also found my fan taking this. So cute. I won't pack my makeup till tomorrow, but I'm so excited to use this. So my sister-in-law got me this for Christmas. It's one of those um, flat lay makeup bags. So this is what it looks like when it's all open up, all opened up. And then when you pull the drawstring, it closes. So it kind of looks like a shower cap, but obviously all your makeup is in here. And then when you undo it, it just opens out like a mat. There's little bits where you can like, like a zip bit to put bits in. You can put makeup brushes in these little elastic holders. Um, you've got two on both sides. And then all your makeup is just laid out flat on a mat. How insane. Who came up with this because it's genius? And I've been wanting one of these for ages and now I get to finally, well, fingers crossed, PCR test pending, uh, take it and use it. So I'll fill that up tomorrow, but such a good little invention. Because you know when you're like away, you're trying to go through like a bag like this and like everything just gets messy, you can't find anything, you just literally just lay it out. And then also you're not messing up like the carpet or a dressing gown or the bed wherever you're getting ready in the hotel so absolutely love this also cute print as well gonna be taking this perfume that i kindly got gifted oh it is so lush so we're gonna put that in here this is my caroline hirons um skin rocks bag so cute and also it's huge so i'm gonna put lo loads of skincare and like hair bits and stuff in there like toiletries right i've got three pairs of sunglasses that i'm taking so I've got these from Key, which are really cool. I feel like they give me kind of like a Matrix 90s vibes. Then we've got these from Key, which I love. And these are going to go with like everything. They're like um, kind of like resin kind of marbly pink ones. How friggin' cool. Love those. And they're like peachy pink vibes match my hair so we're going to take those also key sunglasses come in a case with a little wipe which is so handy love that and then lastly i'm taking these from the hippie shake these are so retro i'm actually kind of obsessed they also go with my hair so well they're huge but kind of love them what do you guys think they're so fun they really remind me of that um fashion photographer, I can't remember his name now. Let's do some hair bits. So 
I've got these little mini um, K18 hair masks. These are so good for traveling. So I don't know if they're like, just like samples where you can actually buy like five milli milliliter ones, but the PR company actually sent me K18 because they saw me using it and they sent me some minis. So I'm just going to take two of those because obviously I'm not going to need it on my hair that often. So probably only do it like once, maybe twice, which is what I've got to, but yeah maybe even just once but anyway they're so light so they're going in i'm also going to take my grow gorgeous um hair growth serum that i've been using um so that can come with me as well um take that off my list i need a heat protect spray i need that uv spray because my hair was ruined last time and moisture i need a moisturizing shampoo and a really nice moisturizing mask to bring because when we're in ibiza my hair got forked from the sun so hair wise i'm going to pack this Kristen s reconstructive moisture mask that's going to be amazing for my hair also going to be packing this which is new from kera stars i've actually got a collab with them coming up very very soon love this this is an anti uh, frizz antioxidant thermic serum um for color and damage treated hair and um it shields it from uh, UV, heat, uh, stress to the hair, so that's great. And instead of a shampoo, I'm actually going to take a shampoo bar. Um, these are actually amazing for travel. And also, if you want to be more sustainable, uh, zero plastic. So, yeah, so I'm going to take this shampoo bar. I've gone for the um, softening one um, for sensitive scalp and fragile hair. And then I'm going to take the Red Ken Oil for All because... I mean, it's a multi-benefit oil. It's just going to do everything that I need when I'm away. So I'm going to take that as well. Then, obviously, because I am going to be in the sun, my hair's probably going to fade um, a little bit. However, I do want it to fade anyway because when I get back, a few weeks after, I'm dyeing my hair a new colour because we're launching a new colour for Safety Hand Hair, which is so exciting. But I thought I'd take... I've got a little bit left of my Peach Punch um, Safety Hand Hair hair dye. So I'm going to take that and potentially top it up, maybe the first wash or something when I'm there, just so it's nice and fresh. And then, yeah, then I'll probably let my hair fade after that. But I thought I'd just take it anyway. Also, I might film a little video of me, like, refreshing my hair up, um, just to show you guys how you can do that. Because, um, yeah, I tried it the other day, and you can uh, mix it in with your conditioner just to refresh it. Um, so, yeah, so I think I'm going to do that when I'm away because it's obviously going to fade like being in the sea and the sun and stuff so yeah anyway it's going to take some of that then i'm going to take my travel mirror from style pro it's actually got like a light around it so handy and it's got an attachable uh, magnifying mirror comes with a cable and a little case it's kind of like a little ipad actually um so i'm going to take that it definitely needs a clean though um, but yeah, I took that to Ibiza and it was such a lifesaver. It's got a little stand on it as well. Just super handy when you travel. Oh, I feel like that's me done for packing <laughs> at the moment. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm going to finish it tomorrow. I've done quite a... Well, I say that. I mean, I've done the bulk of it in terms of like day wear and stuff and a couple of hair bits and things. Um, the rest of it is just more like toiletries and stuff and makeup which won't really take that long to do. So yeah, and then evening outfits, which I will show you tomorrow. i um, gonna just chill now. And also just wanna spend some time with the doggies before they go tomorrow. Going to the kennels. We're dropping you off today, aren't we? Oh, so sad. You guys know as well. I don't know how you know, but you're just so clever. You know, don't you, that we're gonna go in the car, eh? I know, I know, so sad. You have to look after each other. Hey, dropped the dogs off at the kennels, came back, had a bit of a clean up of the house, had some lunch, and now we are about to head to town for our PCR tests. So I think we get the results by eight o'clock tonight. Obviously, that's kind of what we're waiting for to see whether we can actually travel tomorrow. Um, so yeah, it was just like I've never actually had someone do a PCR test on me before, so kind of dreading it. I hope they don't like shove it into my brain. Guys, we can carry on packing because we are negativo, baby. Ah, the anxiety is so overwhelming, but we are going on holiday tomorrow. Feeling very grateful right now. I feel like 
oh, just this is just what I love to do. I love to travel, and yeah, it's just really amazing that we actually get to go tomorrow. So yeah, I'm so excited to see what the Maldives brings us and this experience. And yeah, it's going to be fun to do it with Robin. So let's finish packing, guys because now we actually can, thank God. So, evening outfits are sorted. My ASOS parcel did not come in time, so I've had to kind of just raid my wardrobe and yeah, figure it out, but I've managed to pull some outfits together. So let's go through them and pack them at the same time. Okay, outfits. Uh, okay, so we've already put the white crochet outfit in there for the evening. So, and do you remember those sage green trousers? So I'm just gonna wear those trousers in the evening with this top um, from Miss Guided, really amazing print, and then it kind of crosses over at the front and ties together. You can't really see it now, but in my Moldy's outfit diary that I'm going to do, you'll be able to see um, all the clothes a lot better as they will be worn. And I'll show you guys how I style them up. So that is going in if I can fold it without getting it creased. Okay, next I've got this cord also from misguided really beaut so it is orange and it's more of like a day thing but you could probably definitely dress it up for the evening so i'm going to wear it in the evening um but also i can kind of switch things up and wear these pieces with my bikinis in the day if i wanted to so it's this orange top i really like the cut like at the front kind of goes down so i've got that top and then it comes with these trousers and it's a really, really nice like beachy kind of fabric. They are a little bit see-through so I'll wear like bikini bottoms underneath or something um, in the evening. But yeah, really nice, really like slinky, very kind of beach vibes. So they're going to go in. feel like I'm already racking up the weight in this suitcase. <laughs> Uh, but saying that, I really don't feel like I've got that much that I'm taking with me when I really look at it all. Um, oh cool, next up, you're not really going to be able to see this, but if you guys saw my New Year's Eve um, outfit video, then I wore this dress. It's from House of CB. kind of goes around the neck. You can kind of see it a little bit. It's a maxi dress, got sleeves, and it's all like cut out. It's so beautiful, and it's so flattering. I love the cut, so... We're going to be taking that. I might just fold that up in a sec. Um, then I'm taking this cord from Club L London. I've actually had this. I need to put the tag off um, for like a year. Just haven't been able to wear it. So I'm going to take this. Um, so we've got trousers. Really flattering. They've got like a ruched bit in the centre. They kind of sit so it's more of like a V on your hips, really, really nice. And I love the fabric. So they're coming. I think I might have to put them in my hand luggage. I'm gonna put a few heavy pieces in my hand luggage. These trousers are quite heavy. Um, the fabric's quite thick. So they're going in my hand luggage. Then we've got this top to match. Really cute, love that. Again, going for very colorful summer vibes, guys. It's not summer in the UK. Oh my God, it's so cold and it's so foggy today outside. I'm like literally get me to the moldies right now i can't fold as i go i'm just going to put that in the suitcase i fold it after then we've got this dress from um club l london it's like a one shouldered slinky maxi dress just this print the whole way down really beautiful um and it's quite different actually i've not really seen like this whole one shoulder thing i don't really do a one shoulder but i really like this where are my scissors i need to cut the tag off um so yeah, really, really love that. And it's in orange, which I think will look really cool with like the sunset and my hair. So yeah, that's really nice, that's going in. I hope they've got an eye in there. Then we've got this dress from Post to Go. You might have seen this in my vlog recently. Yes, it does stretch out. I know, it literally looks like it's a dress for like a five-year-old. So that is going in. And then for that, because of how it is, I tried to find, um, where did I just put them? Oh, here. Tried to find some clear strap thongs, but I couldn't. So I've got like these stick-on thongs, uh, which are strapless. So it's literally just a sticker. Uh, so they're coming with me. And I've also got nipple covers as well because the dress is quite see-through. They're coming with me too. 
Then I've got this jumpsuit from Club L London. Again, this, this is actually something I got for Dubai, but I couldn't take it. So it's just sat, waited, like waiting for me to wear it really. Now I can finally wear it, yes. Um, so it is literally perfect for the Maldives, by the way, guys, because it's like the ocean. How cool is that? So it's um, bandeau with sleeves and it's just a jumpsuit. So trousers and it's like a meshy kind of material. I love it, it's very mermaid vibes. So yeah, obsessed with that. So that's gonna go into the suitcase. Then the final evening outfit I've got is from I Am Gia. So it's this white skirt, like a maxi skirt, which kind of crosses over. And then it's got this little bra top. I'll obviously have to just like wear it and I'll show you guys um, next week. But yeah, it's like quite strappy. It's really, really flattering though. I love it, it's so nice. So yeah, that is also going in and that is the final outfit that I'm taking. I'm just thinking, do I need to iron this? But I think they'll have an eye in there, won't they? They'll have to. Then I'm packing my little tripod for my phone if I film any reels or anything when I'm out there. Super handy. Handbag wise, I'm going to take my Dior bag and I'm also taking my By Far bag as well in lime green. And that's the only bags I'm going to take because I feel like they'll kind of go with everything. Um, okay, and then let's start packing this little mini case that I'm also going to take. Oh, I'm going to take some uh, satin scrunchies because they're going to be good for my hair. To save weight, I've gone for the simple micellar wipes, which are biodegradable. So they're just going to come in handy taking off my makeup every day. Okay, just packed all of my makeup. We've got lashes. Um, I'm taking these two palettes because it's literally got so many like nude shades. We've got shimmers, we've got a black eyeshadow as well, so that looks really good. And then I've just um, added in the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette for some colorful shades. I've got SPF um, 50 plus lean screen from Isla, from Ultraviolet. This is a new brand. By the way, this is amazing, guys. I tried it the other day. I've got all my brushes in the little elastic bit in this um, flat lay company makeup bag. I've got moisturizer. I've got uh, my Dior blush. This is like my favorite one. It is the Rosy Glow in Coral. Uh, foundation, I'm going for a mix. I've got the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I friggin' love this. And then I've got the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is a little bit light for my skin, but I reckon I'll probably start with this maybe. Um, and then I can go into this or just use a little bit of this on my face just to, yeah, match to my skin if I tan. Uh, what else have we got in here? Lipsticks, black lip. I've got some nude lips. Concealer. Oh, literally the best concealer from H&B Cosmetics. Love this. Tried this the other day. Uh, cream bronzer in shade amber. Oh my god, it's so nice from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, guys, I feel like that's as far as I'm going to take you with packing because the rest of it is just packing my cameras. Um, potentially a pair of straighteners, even though I kind of want to avoid applying heat to my hair, but I might just bring a pair just in case. Hair dryer because I've been using the diffuser, which I think I'll just use that to be fair. Um, oh, hair accessories. When I added some hair accessories and like hair clips and stuff. Um, but yeah, pretty much it. That's all my clothes. That's my makeup sorted. So I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Um, yeah, going to the Maldives tomorrow. So exciting. So obviously we'll start a new, fresh new vlog and it will start straight away with us traveling to the Maldives. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this week's vlog. Um, stay tuned on my Instagram stories if you want to see little snippets of what I get up to next week. And then yeah, for the full vlog, stay tuned and yeah come back next sunday guys thanks so much for watching take care stay safe and i'll see you guys in another vlog very very soon peace out